Good day, grade eight students. So for today, I will teach you how to factor perfect square trinomial. All right. So let's start. For our objectives in this lesson, students will be able to identify whether or not an expression is a perfect square trinomial and factor perfect square trinomials completely. Okay po. So dito sa perfect square trinomial, let's determine first if the following um, expression is a perfect square trinomial or not. All right, first. X squared plus 2XY plus Y squared. This is an example of a perfect square trinomial. Okay. Next, 4X squared plus 20X plus 25. This is also an example of a perfect square trinomial. Okay. How about X squared plus 5X plus 6? This is not an example of perfect square trinomial. 9x squared plus 30xy plus 25y squared. This is a, an example of perfect square trinomial. And 4x squared plus 2xy plus y squared. That is a perfect square trinomial as well. All right. So the following will help you recognize a perfect square trinomial. First, there must be no minus sign before x squared or y squared. Opo. So dito, yung perfect square trinomial daw, itong x squared, this is the first term. Itong y squared, this is the last term. So ibig sabihin daw po, itong uh, first and last term, ibig sabihin kailangan positive palagi. Opo. Kailangan positive yung first and last term natin. Next. Two of the terms must be perfect square. Um, sabi dito, yung first and last term, kailangan perfect square silang dalawa. Opo, so ito, x squared and y squared, they are um, an example of a perfect square. Next, if you multiply x and y and double the result, you get the middle term 2xy or its additive inverse, negative 2xy. So dito naman kapag minultiply daw natin yung uh, value ng first and last term, and then kapag minultiply pa natin siya sa 2, ang magiging sagot ng middle term is 2xy or negative 2xy. Okay, for example, para mas maintindihan natin, Ayan, yung example natin kanina, yung dinetermine natin kung perfect square trinomial or hindi. Itong x squared plus 2xy plus y squared. So gamitin natin yung strategy natin um, noong pag-factor natin ng difference of two squares. Okay? So ang gawin natin, uh, we get the square root of x squared and y squared. And... If you are already familiar with um, a perfect square, yung ginawa natin, um, yung 1 times 1, 2 times 2, 3 times 3, or 3 squared, 4 squared, 5 squared. Kung alam nyo na yun, kung familiarize nyo na yun, mas madali na lang sa inyo yung pagdetermine whether it is a perfect trinomial or not. So dito, kunin natin yung square root. We will just divide the exponent by... Um, the square root. So, 2 divided by 2, that is 1. So, kaya naging x na lang siya. Ayan. x plus ito namang y squared. Same lang. Magiging 2 divided by 2. Naging 1. Kaya y na lang siya. Ayan. And then, sabi kanina, yung value daw ng x and y kapag minultiply natin and kapag dinoble natin yung magiging sagot is 2xy. So try natin. Yung first term, that is equal to x. Yung last term, that is y. So 2 times, uh, I mean x times y is xy. Times 2, that is equal to 2xy. Okay, so ibig sabihin, this is an example of a perfect square trinomial. Now, try naman natin itong 9x squared plus 30xy plus 25y squared. So try natin. We get first the square root of 9x squared. The square root of 9 is equal to 3. 
x squared, the square root of x squared is equal to x. So, kaya naging 3x squared, uh, 3x siya, yung value ng x natin. Plus 2 times x times y. Ayan. Plus the square root of 25 is equal to 5. Then the square root of y squared is equal to y. So, ito 5y. So, ito na yung value ng x natin. Sige, palitan natin yung kulay. Ito na yung value ng x natin at ito yung value ng y natin. So, ilagay natin dito yung value ng x. Dito si x, ito si y. Ito si x, ito si y. Value ng x is equal to 3x. Value ng um, y is equal to 5y. So, 3 times, uh, 3x times 5y is equal to 15xy. Then, multiplied by 2, that is equal to 30xy. So, ibig sabihin, this is also an example of a perfect square trinomial. Alright? Next, dito naman sa pangatlong expression. x squared plus 5x plus 6. So, we get first the... Um, the square root of x squared that is equal to x plus 2 times x times y. Ito yung x, ito yung y. The square root of 6 is, obviously, this is not a perfect square. Itong um, 6. So, ibig sabihin, ito ay hindi perfect square. Okay. So, no need to compute kasi uh, makikita naman natin dito na hindi siya perfect square. Alright? Now, meron din tayong mga cases na may example tayo. Yung first and last term niya is a perfect square. Pero nung minultiply natin siya and pinagmultiply ulit natin siya sa 2, yung sa middle term is hindi tumugma. So, kailangan... Ma-determine nyo din kung perfect square ba. Uh, I mean, kung tama ba yung product ng middle term. Sige, try natin. For example, we have 16x plus 30xy. Uh, 16x squared plus 30xy. 16x squared plus 30xy plus 25y squared. For example, etong dalawa, etong first and last term is an example of a perfect square. So kapag kinuha natin, ang sagot niya is 4x. Ayan. Etong 25y naman is 5y. Okay, so kapag sinubstitute natin yung value ng x and value ng y, for the value of x, we have 4x. For the value of y, we have 5y. Ayan. Kapag minultiply natin 4 times, uh, 4x times 5y, that is equal to 20xy. Then multiplied by 2, that is equal to 40xy. So, ibig sabihin hindi siya perfect square trinomial since hindi tumugma yung middle term dito. Opo, they are not the same. Alright, I hope you get um, the concept. Kahit perfect square yung first and last term, pero hindi tumugma yung sa middle term, they are not um, perfect square trinomial. Okay? So, now, I will teach you naman on how to factor perfect square trinomial. Alright? So, let me share again my screen. Here we go. Alright. So, in factoring perfect square trinomial, ito yung um, condition niya. Kapag finactor natin yung positive, na middle term, ito yung magiging sagot. We have the quantity of x plus y, quantity squared. And kapag negative yung middle term, of course, negative then itong value ng y. So we have the quantity of x minus y, quantity squared. 
Alright? Sige, let's try. Sagutan natin itong mga examples natin dito. Let's have an example. For example, we have x squared plus 18, x plus 81. Try natin sagutan. First, we get the square root of the first and last term. Alright? So, we'll get the first or the square root of the first term. We have x plus 2 times the quantity. Ayan. And for 81, we have 9. And then after that, substitute natin yung given. Itong value ng x, we have x. Value ng 9, we have 9. So, we have 2. Uh, x times 9 is 9x. Times 2 is equal to 18x. Yeah. So, ibig sabihin, perfect square trinomial siya. Now, ang pupunin lang natin dito since yung factored form niya is x plus y quantity squared, isa substitute lang natin ito. So, ito na yung value ng x, ito yung value ng y. Isa substitute lang natin dito. So, we have x plus 9 squared. So this is now the final answer. Ganun lang siya kadali. Opo. Pero, again, sabi ko nga kanina, may mga cases na itong first and last term are already perfect square but kapag minultiply natin dito, hindi siya tumutugma. Dito, kapag minultiply natin, hindi siya tumutugma. And kapag hindi siya tumugma, again, ang ilalagay nyo na lang, this is not a perfect square trinomial. Opo, not perfect square trinomial. Kapag ganun yung cases. Pero kapag ganito, you just substitute the given values of x and y dito, then yun na yung tamang sagot. Okay? I hope you get it. Sige, let's have another example. Let me clear this one first and proceed to the next. Natin. Okay. Next example, we have 9x squared plus 42x plus 49. All right? Um, again, get the square root. So we have the square root of 9x squared is equal to 3x plus 2 times, ayan, ganyan siya palagi. The square root of 49 is equal to 7. Okay, so the value of um, x is equal to 3x. The value of 7, I mean, last term or y is 7. 3x times 7 is equal to 21x times 2 is equal to 42x. So this is correct. Now, since um, it is an example of a perfect square trinomial, you will just substitute the given values of x and y dito sa standard form natin na x plus y quantity squared. So, for the value of x, we have 3x. For the value of y, we have 7 squared. So, this is now the final answer. Ganun lang siya kadali. We have the quantity of 3x plus 7 quantity squared. Okay? Next example. We have x squared plus 10x plus 25. Again, get the square root x squared. We have x plus get the square root of 25. We have 5. And then, substitute natin x times 5. 5 times x is equal to 5x times 2 is equal to 10x. So, correct. Now, we will just substitute the given values dito sa standard form na x plus y quantity squared. We have x plus 5 squared. Alright. So, this is now the final answer. Ganun lang siya kadali. Alright. Next example, we have 16x squared plus 72x plus 81. Okay, get the square root. We have 4x 
plus the square root of 81 is 9. So we have 4x times 9. That is equal to 36x. Then multiplied by 2, that is equal to 72x. Correct. So this is also an example of a perfect square trinomial. Now we get the factored form. x plus y quantity squared. So the value of x is equal to 4x plus the value of y is equal to 9. So we have 4x plus 9 quantity squared. This is the correct answer or the factored form of 16x squared plus 72x plus 81. All right, next example. Okay, so we have 16a squared minus 40a plus 25. Again, get the square root. We have 16a squared, that is 4a. Minus, we have 2 times the quantity, ayan. Square root of 25 is equal to 5. Then, Substitute, value of x is equal to 4a. For the value of y, we have 5. 4a times 5 is equal to 20a times negative 2 is equal to negative 40a. So correct. We will use the formula or the standard form x minus y squared since the middle term is negative. Apo. So we have... The value of x, we have 4a minus the value of y, we have 5. So the factored form is the quantity of 4a minus 5 quantity squared. All right. Next example, I think meron pang isa. Okay. So we have x squared minus 22x plus 121. Okay. First Get the square root, x squared, that is x minus the square root of 121 is equal to 11. Okay, this is the value of x, this is the value of y, so we have x times 11. x times 11 is equal to 11x times negative 2 is equal to negative 22x. So this is an example also of a perfect square trinomial. So gamitin natin yung x minus 1 quantity squared na general term. So we have the value of x is x minus 22x. Ah, for the value of y is equal to 11. Yan. So the quantity of x minus 11 quantity squared. So this is now the final answer. Okay. Now that you already know on how to factor um, perfect square trinomial, kayo naman, itry nyong sagutan sa notebook nyo, and then on face-to-face, -face, we will check your answers. Okay? So this is the problem. Uh, these are the problem. Number one, 25m squared minus 20mn plus 4n squared. Number two, 27a squared plus 72ab plus 48b squared. Number 3, 4x cubed minus 24x squared plus 36x. Number 4, 3x squared minus 18x squared plus 27x. Number 5, 45a cubed plus 128b plus 80b squared. Okay? Try it. Um, Try to answer that on your notebook, and then we will check that on our face-to-face -face classes. All right, and that is it for our discussion class. I hope you get and you learn from our lesson. So, um, galingan nyo, kayang-kaya nyo yan, and i-enjoy nyo lang kasi alam ko, kayang um, natututunan nyo naman yan. Replay lang, lang ng replay kung hindi nakukuha, and until makuha nyo siya. Okay, don't stop until you learn it. All right, that is it for our discussion. Always remember that God is good all the time. Keep always safe and God bless. Bye-bye.